You might have heard that old saying, we have nothing to fear but fear itself. Well, in modern times, when it comes to radiation, that appears to be the case in the sense that people tend to be more harmed by fear of radiation than the actual radiation itself. Now, make no mistake, radiation can and does kill at large doses. But even with Fukushima, very good case in point, the radioactivity that was released was insufficient to produce any measurable medical effects in the Japanese public. That means that all of that radioactivity was too close to natural background in terms of the dose that the people received to have any effect. But the panicked evacuation that occurred due to Fukushima, that did kill well over a thousand people. So they literally risked and lost their lives to avoid something that would not have had a measurable impact. That is the level of fear that we get from radiation in society today. As an example, when it comes to the health effects just from stress, that is measurable. And the Japanese public still see that. And the reports are that that even occurred with Chernobyl, so that the number of suicides are outpacing the number of cancer deaths that came from Chernobyl just from fear, this paranoid uh, uh, belief that you're doomed because you've had a radiation exposure, uh, everything is going to go bad. All of these medical effects are going to happen and your life is now hopeless. And so fear tends to be the biggest harm that we have today from radiation. And it's even stymieing nuclear energy. People oppose it because of their fear from radiation. So a greenhouse gas free, highly energy dense, environmentally friendly source that has all of the technical solutions for nuclear waste, for safe handling, for transportation, all of that's been worked out, and yet fear stops it. So, something to think about. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.